Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. So every teenage boy's favorite guitarist, Nita Strauss, has been making a lot of headlines recently. After years of playing in Alice Cooper's band, she's now out of the band, and the late 80s era Alice Cooper guitarist Kane Roberts is back in the band. So there's a lot to talk about here. Why did Nita leave? Why was Kane Roberts chosen to replace her? And why did Nita also cancel a bunch of her upcoming solo gigs? We're going to answer those questions and go over all the details in this video. Now, real quick, guys, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool guitars and also staying up on all the latest news in the guitar universe, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, so I've got a few articles up here that we're going to go through together, and there's quite a bit of information to cover in this video, but we're going to get it all figured out, and you're going to have all the details and know everything that's going on when we get, uh, you know, by the time we get to the end of the video. And after we check out all of these articles and go over all these details, I'm going to go through my usual baseless speculation on what this all means for the future of rock guitar in America. Let's go ahead and start here with the first article, and this is when uh, the big announcement came that Nita was leaving Alice Cooper's band and what was going on with that. Now, this is from guitar.com, and as usual, I'm going to have links down in the video description below to all of the original articles and stuff if you want to check this out for yourself. But let's go ahead and look at this here. So, again, from guitar.com, Nita Strauss leaves Alice Cooper band, stresses she's not pregnant, and that there is no drama whatsoever. The guitarist has also canceled all of her upcoming festival dates with her solo band. Starts off, Alice Cooper guitarist Nita Strauss has announced her departure from the band after an eight-year stint. The guitarist will also be canceling all of her solo festival appearances for the rest of the year. Sharing the news via Instagram earlier today, Strauss wrote, quote, After this absolutely incredible run in Europe, it is bittersweet for me to let you guys know that I will not be uh, joining the Alice Cooper band for the upcoming fall tour. I will also regretfully have to cancel the festival dates my solo band had planned for the rest of the year. I'm not pregnant, the guitarist clarified. There is no drama whatsoever, and my touring year is still very full. In fact, I'm on a flight straight into the next adventure as I post this. And I'll be on stage again much sooner than you think, but that's news for another day. So she goes on here, you know, the rest of the article is basically quoting her, talking about, you know, how great of a time she's had playing in Alice Cooper's band, and it has her original uh, post here. Then it goes on here to say, fans have flooded the comments section, sharing their well wishes for the guitarist. Several of Nita's Cooper bandmates have also commented on her post, with guitarist Ryan Roxy writing, no words, just notes. And Lord knows we harmonized a lot of them over the years. Nothing but love and respect. Drummer Glenn Sobel, who was also at one time the drummer in the band Impelitary, one of my favorite bands, uh, he also commented, You're super pro and prepared no matter what the situation. We're going to miss you, but we're also uh, proud to be associated with Hurricane. And then it finishes up here. Strauss has been playing with Cooper since 2014 when she was hired to replace Orianthi as the band's touring guitarist. Her career has included performing with several rock ensembles, such as Iron Maiden tribute band The Iron Maidens, Femme Fatale, and video game supergroup Critical Hit. Okay, so this was the first big piece of news. She was seemingly very suddenly, uh, you know, leaving Alice Cooper's band. They, you know, they finished up this tour, and then she left, and she's also canceling her, her solo stuff. But we read a little bit further on, we go to the next article here, and we find out a little bit more uh, of the story here. Now, this next article is over on Loudersound.com, and this one says, Nita Strauss' replacement in Alice Cooper's band has been revealed. Alice Cooper welcomes a familiar face back into his band following the departure of guitarist Nita Strauss. It starts off here. Following the surprise departure of guitarist Nita Strauss from his touring band, Alice Cooper has welcomed an old friend back into the family, namely former guitarist Kane Roberts. Yeah. 
That was the good old days. It says here, known for his muscular physique and his trademark machine gun style guitar, Roberts played on Cooper's 1986 album Constrictor and 1987's Raise Your Fist and Yell before launching a solo career and subsequently playing with Phoenix Down. Roberts will rejoin Cooper for his upcoming Detroit Muscle shows in the U.S. And then we've got a quote here from Alice. He says, I'm looking forward to welcoming back Kane Roberts for our shows in September and October. We've been friends all this time. He's always been one of my favorite guitarists. He's bringing more muscle to the Detroit Muscle Tour. We've always had a swinging door policy where players can come and go, so it's very exciting to get back on stage with Kane. The fans are in for a real treat at these shows. It's going to be a blast. Kane Roberts, Ryan Roxy, and Tommy Hendrickson on guitars? Hell yeah. So this article has a lot of good stuff in here, but what they fail to mention is that Kane Roberts and Alice Cooper have worked together relatively recently because last time I checked, 86 and 87 was a few years ago. But actually, Kane Roberts had a new solo album that was released back in 2019, and it featured Alice Cooper as a guest vocalist on it. So when they say, you know, we've been friends all this time, they're not exaggerating. In fact, you know, they have still been collaborating on music as recently as, you know, three, four years ago. And look, I gotta say here, I'm very happy for Kane Roberts in this situation. I mean, like Kane and Nita, I know how expensive protein powder can be. So I'm glad he got this, what I assume to be lucrative gig. Those gym memberships aren't gonna pay for themselves. Okay, anyway, we've gone through these two articles and so we know that Nita left Alice Cooper's band. It was sudden and that uh, she also canceled all of her solo gigs. We know that Kane Roberts has been brought in to replace her. But the big question here is why did Nita leave so suddenly? And as she has plainly already stated, she's not pregnant, so we can rule that out. Well, let me bring you to the third and final article of this video, and that is this one right here from blabbermouth.net. Nita Strauss officially joins Demi Lovato's touring band, performs on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Okay, so now we know she has left Alice Cooper's band to take on a new musical opportunity, and that is, of course, playing in Miss Demi Lovato's band. Now, I want to be totally honest with you. I'm not very familiar with Demi Lovato. I believe she is some kind of pop vocalist. That's pretty much all I know about her. I, I know she's in the news a lot, but it's, it's not the kind of news that I keep track of. So forgive me if I seem a little bit out of touch with this stuff, because I am. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at this article here. So it starts out, former Alice Cooper guitarist Nita Strauss has officially joined the touring band of singer Demi Lovato. Nita's new gig was first reported as a rumor on the Metal Sludge website. Nita made her live debut with Demi Thursday night, that was back on the 14th, with a performance of Lovato's new single, Substance, on ABC's Emmy Award-winning late-night show, Jimmy Kimmel Live. Video of the appearance can be seen below. Lovato is about to hit the road in support of her eighth studio album, which will be released on August 19th via Island Records. The LP's first single, Skin of My Teeth, was made available last month. No relation to Megadeth, I'm sure. The follow-up to last year's Dancing with the Devil, The Art of Starting Over. Uh, this new album is reportedly a departure from Lovato's typical pop aesthetic and features a more punk rock flavored sound. Lovato implied that the new album would usher in a new era for her after she posted a photo in January along with the caption, A funeral for my pop music. She later told Rolling Stone that fans can expect to hear some heaviness in her new sound. It's a new era reminiscent of my first era, she said. I'm ever evolving, ever changing. I'd like to put the rest of my music behind me and start fresh in this new era for this next album. But I do that every album cycle. So basically, if you liked Demi Lovato before, you're gonna hate the new stuff. To me, that's what this, this says here. Okay, guys, so look, look. I want to congratulate Nita Strauss on this career move. I know there are some people out there who are talking about this basically saying, you know, death to false metal, wimps and posers leave the hall. Why is this shred guitarist playing for a pop artist? 
that kind of thing. But look, guys, I think Nita Strauss is in some ways making a great personal sacrifice for the overall good of the guitar community. Let me tell you what I mean. I would imagine that being in Demi Lovato's touring band is not Nita's number one first choice of you know, how she would like to be performing and playing guitar for people. I'm just, I'm just gonna go with that. She clearly really enjoyed being in Alice Cooper's band, and I could see her being in some, you know, legendary metal band like uh, Megadeth or something like that, like lead guitarist for Megadeth. You know, how cool would that be, right? But think about this. How many more people is Nita going to be able to reach by playing in Demi Lovato's band? And not just more people, but people who otherwise would never have been exposed to rock guitar and shred guitar. A lot more people, that's the answer, a lot more people. You know, she's bringing guitar to a whole new audience. So I want to commend Nita for doing this. She's gonna be on this tour, you know, this, this pop artist tour, playing in front of all these new people and, you know, people in the audience, and they're gonna be up there, or they're gonna be looking at her up there playing guitar. I'm sure she's gonna work in a couple of sweeps and some string skipping arpeggios and so forth. And people are gonna see her and be like, wow, that is an amazing instrument. I had no idea someone could play guitar like that. I wanna get into it, I wanna play guitar. I'm sure that that is gonna be the result of her being in Demi Lovato's band. And that is a great thing. I want there to be more guitar players in the world, more good, awesome rock and metal guitar players. So Nita is a great guitarist. She's also a very influential guitar player, not so much in the playing and the technique and everything, but the people she performs for and the way she connects with them. And I think she's gonna use all of those skills to push and build guitar and the popularity of guitar to new heights. Guitar is gonna be coming up the hill once more, going up the guitar mountain. Now for me, there's one more big question here that only the future will be able to answer. And that is that when this tour with Demi Lovato is finished, Will Nita then be going back to Alice Cooper's band? What's gonna happen? I have no idea right now, but you can rest assured that if those things do happen, and whatever happens, I will be bringing you the latest news about it. Okay guys, let me know what you think of all of this stuff down in the comments section below. And as always, like I said earlier in the video, everything I was talking about, the articles and so forth, I will have links for all that stuff down in the video description below. Thanks a ton for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you very soon.